Hello, my loves. Welcome back. I have so much I want to talk to you about today. I don't even know where to start. I am in the Target. Target? What is that? I am in the Target parking lot. I just got myself my first coffee, my only coffee that I'm allowed for the day. The Starbucks. Uh, what is this? Brown sugar latte? Oat milk latte? Oh my gosh. It is so good. My girl Sarah turned me on to this. It is 4.30 in the afternoon. Like, what am I doing drinking coffee right now? However, I needed to get some energy in order to create this video. I've been dying to go full glam, to do everything today, but little man is sucking my energy. We hit third trimester and thankfully I can still work out, but I get tired some days. I worked out twice yesterday, so I'm doing well, but some days little man needs the energy and that's cool. He could have the energy. I want him to grow big and strong. I had to run out because Adam needed some body wash. When I was on the phone with him before, I was like, I'm running out to the post office. Do you need me to stop and get anything? And he said, are you going to pass target? And I said, actually I am. What do you need? And he said, what do you call it? He's like the one that smells like a hot soccer dad that's what i call it i'm like yeah i'm like do you want the one that smells like a hot rich bachelor a hot rich soccer dad or a trust fund baby that wears flip flops and smokes too much weed if you don't know what i'm talking about i made a video with the text conversation that we had i'm just a weirdo and like they make these male scented things that i love i bought them for adam before he came home because i always wanted to shop for like for a man my man and i never could for all the years while Adam was inside prison so I finally could and I bought him this and then when we went to go smell different scents he's really into smelling good and different scents because prison just smells disgusting and horrible disgusting and horrible in case that's not the same thing <laughs> so we were smelling them in the aisles and I'm like this one smells like a rich bachelor this one smells like hot soccer dad and this one smells like trust, trust fun baby that wears flip-flops and smokes too much weed he wants the hot soccer dad if the shoe fits okay so all day i had to work and then i edited my 3d slash 4d ultrasound video oh i'm so in love with it i'm so in love with little man since i saw his little cute little smushy face and his chubby cheeks i'm sure you guys have seen that video for sure by now i just don't know when that video posted versus when this video is posting. Cause like I said, I always want to film, but then I all day goes by and I'm like, ugh, do I have to? I just have no energy after work. Can you tell? Oh. Not anymore because Starbucks. So what was I saying? Oh, smushy little face. I said to Adam, I was like, we made a baby with chubby cheeks. How do we make a baby with chubby cheeks? Look, I have like the longest, thinnest face which does not bode well for aging, but we're not gonna go there. And Adam is like chiseled jaw. So we made a baby with chubby cheeks. Oh, I always wanted a chubby baby. I also was saying earlier that I wanted to get glam for this video, but that didn't happen. So I figured I would throw, <laughs> I figured I'd throw on sunglasses, which is perfect because I stopped at the post office on the way to Target. And then I was like, wait, I'm here. I'm wearing my shirt, gotta make the video. And I got gifted these three pairs of sunglasses and blue light glocker. Glocker? Really, Ro? Really? We're gonna talk about blocks? No, we're not. Blue light blocker glasses from a company called Zinf. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's Zay, Zay, Zay. <laughs> oh my God, I crack myself up. This is why I shouldn't drink Starbucks, especially at 4.30 in the afternoon. Z-I-N-F-F -F is the company. They gifted me three pairs. They let me pick them out. A special gift for your family. If you guys want 35% off for orders over $110. Code is family35. You guys are my family. Duh, there is a QR code. Screenshot that and use that puppy. Does that work for you? There you go. These are packaged really nicely. Let's see what that says literally just in the target parking lot did i tell you guys this i'm in the same spot that i was in the day i filmed when i took my pregnant pregnancy test in the target bathroom like a 16 year old and i was so out of it and i was so depressed and i was so scared because adam was just home he was home for six weeks all my stuff was still in new jersey 
and I was scared out of my mind because you know 42 years old and you are very set in your ways and I always blocked having a baby I'll post the video up there and then I took you guys with me when I told Adam and he made me feel so much better and now here we are like two months away and I'm like come I can't wait for you to get here I just want to hug you and hold you and kiss you and smell your little head is that weird probably okay 30% off of your next purchase with code more 30 is that the same one no the other one is 110 or more this is available for all products on zinff.com i'll put it all down below but if you guys want there it is here is the qr code take a screenshot use it there you go these are sunglasses they're so pretty they kind of look like these i always get so many compliments on these problem with these is i got them at target a few years ago but they stretched out so they don't stay on my head and like if i look down they fall off which is kind of annoying and i've been pushing them and then i broke that so i crazy glued it and issues so let's try these puppies on they look like a pair a wild fox pair that my sister amanda we call her ama wanted for a long time i love these i need to maybe send these to ama because she has the prettiest roundest face i always said if i had a little girl i want her to look like ama because she's gorgeous and so they look better on her round face remember long thin face made a baby with chubby cheeks ah! okay those are number one I don't think I got other sunglasses. I was looking for a black pair because remember when I got my car broken into and by my car was broken into, I mean that I left it unlocked in my driveway in New Jersey because like you can't, well, I thought you could there and little kids, it was in the summer and they were checking handles of cars and they stole all of my sunglasses. Thank God I didn't have any, I don't really wear expensive sunglasses since I was in my 20s and early 30s because I break them or I would have people borrow them. Like one of my sisters wore a pair of Gucci's to the beach one time and got scratched. Like they got sand all over them um, and sand scratched them. So they got a whole bunch of cheap pairs of sunglasses and like $60 in cash because I used to keep singles in my car for the vending machines when I would go see Adam. So anyway, I lost all my black pairs of sunglasses, but I think I got two blue light blockers, not positive. These were probably my favorite. Oh my God, they match my shirt. So I don't know if you guys can see the color. They're like an emerald green. Adam's mom actually had a pair of readers that were smaller than this, but I thought they were similar in color. She said that they're blue, but in some light, they looked like this color green and she would wear this gorgeous green cardigan when she would get chilly, like in the AC or we had a couple of cold day, cold er days when she was here visiting us. And I was like, I love the color of your glasses. Now I have a pair of oh, nerdy blue light blockers. I look like my grandfather. <laughs> this is so cute. I think these are called, what were these called? I don't remember. I will Put it on the screen and i'll link it below if you guys want to get these exact ones these are so cute oh my god i'm obsessed because you guys know i have my nerd black ones from key spelled quay i was corrected one time it's pronounced key but i love these too they're great for if you don't want to put on makeup like some of us who have a little man zapping all of our energy he also sits on my bladder but that's a story for another time oh, i should probably put these in the target bag so i don't ruin them oh she can't bend over anymore okay that skin girl Mm, it's glowing. Makes me feel better about not having makeup on. Last pair, and then we're going to talk about being too much, I promise. It's really hard to open these boxes. Okay, there we go. I can't even remember. Oh, another pair of blue light blockers, very similar to the grandma ones. Caitlin calls them my grandma ones that I left in New Jersey. Those were also key or quay or however you say it. I know it's pronounced key, but most people say quay, including myself did. Including myself did for a while. These are kind of small for me, though. Do we like them or are they too small? Do I look like a sexy secretary? I'm gonna have to ask Adam. I will put the name of these on the screen. I look like my grandfather so much right now. That's so funny. I have my grandfather's exact face, by the way. That's why I keep saying that, which is weird because sometimes I look like my mom. My grandfather, my father's father is who I look like. My baby looks identical to my mom's dad. I don't understand. Anyway, let's change these out. If you guys are interested in that 30% off, I will put the discount codes and all that stuff below. If they give me a discount code for you guys specifically, for my members, I will link that below as well. These are amazing, love them. Okay, moving on. When I was in New Jersey, I was telling my sister Elena about Peter Mon and how much I loved him and how before Adam came home from prison, P 
heater was my happy place during quarantine. Like I would work all day, I would work out, then I would watch Peter's videos and they would make me happy. I just love him, I love his personality. Actually, when Adam came home, we share a YouTube channel, hello, Rowan Adam Clausen, and he sees my history poor guy while he sees her pregnancy and birth, birth, birth blogs, birth blogs nowadays, but he also sees a lot of Peter because Peter and I are good Judies in my world. He doesn't know I exist, but that's okay. So I was telling my sister, I'm like, you know, if you need something to entertain you during quarantine, Peter is the best. And Adam asked me, he's like, why do you love him so much? Not in a judgmental way. Like he just wants to know, like, what is it about him that you love? So I was explaining, I'm like, because he is so energetic. He's so happy all the time. He's so positive. He's in recovery. You're in recovery. I think Peter has like 25 years. Adam has 20 years. His grandmother was in prison. You are in prison. We're like practically twins. Just kidding. But we're around the same age. He makes the best pop culture from the 80s and 90s references. I love his personality. I love his energy. When Adam and I went to Jersey to visit, that's when my sister gave me this Be Too Much shirt. And I promise that's what this video is about. And we will get there and you guys will all learn a lesson from me and Peter. But Adam and I stopped at Dunkin' Donuts on the way to the little baby shower that my sister-in-law threw for me. We stopped, we got this coffee and it was terrible. And Adam was like, what would Peter say about this? And I was like, oh my God, I love that you said that. And then another time, like just a couple of weeks ago, he was like, do you think Richard watches your channel? And I'm like, who's Richard? And he was like, Richard. I'm like, Peter. Oh my God. Wrong word. That means the same. Anyway, I was dying to find this video. It was on Peter's main channel. And I cannot remember if it was before Adam came home in August or after Adam came home, but he basically got a tweet from somebody and this is paraphrased. I'm probably botching it, but the, the gist of it was this person was like, you are over the top. You are way too much like sh quiet down, take it down a notch. Because if you guys don't know, Peter has this incredible, I think over the top personality. He might be an acquired taste, but let's be real. So is coffee and some people don't like it, but most of us can't live without it every day. We love it so much. It gives us energy, it pumps us up. And I'm just gonna keep saying stuff about coffee as I take a sip. Okay. I was just so upset for him. Like how dare somebody tell somebody to play small and to hide their personality from the world, right? So fast forward this October, I find out I'm pregnant. I'm gonna teach my baby to be too much courtesy of Peter Amon. I think this means so much to me because for the longest time I played small and I hid my personality from the world. First of all, I'm very shy. I kind of struggled a little bit with social anxiety when Adam was in prison because people didn't understand my decision to not only be with somebody who had a prison sentence, but also somebody that had a life sentence, not understanding criminal justice and how he did not do what most people think that you have to do to get a 213 year sentence not that he was innocent he wasn't but nobody was even heard criminal justice system is jacked and he got the raw end of the deal he got punished for going to trial how do i explain that to people when they're like yeah right this guy's probably lying to you and you're eating it up because he's hot you know what i mean so i started to withdraw myself from the world on top of that i don't know if all of you guys know but i did a video whew, last summer or like two summers ago. I don't remember, I'll link it there, but I was raised in a religious cult when I was little. Thank God it was only about three years before my parents saw the light, no pun intended, and got out. But while we were in this cult, it was in my formative years of life. It was like my preteen, early teen years. And basically they taught us, women should be seen and not heard. We need to be barefoot and pregnant. We need to be very submissive to our husbands. That's why I don't know math, you guys. I don't know geography. I always joke around about it, but that's because I wasn't taught any of that in this cult school that I used to go to. We were taught how to be housewives. We were taught how to be very submissive to men. We were taught to suffer. We were taught that we don't deserve any more than that. And although now as an adult, I do not believe that whatsoever. I know I deserve more. In your formative years, those thoughts are in there somewhere. There's a lot of trauma associated with that. When we're being raised as little girls, society told us, at least in my generation, girls should be meek and girls should be quiet and nice little girls don't push back and we're sweet and we have to be soft and we have to 
be, I don't want to say submissive, but you know, little girls aren't loud. You don't try to excel at life. Be polite and be sweet and be pretty. You can be all that, but you could also be too much. I don't mean all that like play small, but you could still be sweet and you could be beautiful and you could be pretty and you could be freaking fierce and like Beyonce. I grew up thinking that I didn't deserve things. I grew up playing small. I grew up being shushed, shushing my own voice because that's what I was taught. Plus, on top of it, I wrote all about this in my book, The Comeback Code. It's available on bit.ly, bit.ly slash comeback code. It's a book I wrote with all of the exercises and tools that I used to build my self-confidence coming out of that and also to set goals and attain them while my husband was inside because all of us who have loved ones on the inside and even just people in general, like, like people in prison and their wives aren't people pack it in girl go home I mean people on the outside in general but we get caught in the monotonous monoton pack it in number two we get caught in the monotony of life and we wind up just checking days off of the calendar if your loved one's in prison and if your loved one isn't in prison we wind up just like rinse recycle rinse recycle repeat no lather rinse repeat of life like you get up you go to work come home maybe hang out with your spouse for a couple hours maybe do the dishes maybe watch tv a little bit go to sleep get up do it all over again tomorrow if you don't put your mind to it and work towards things then we kind of get lost in that and it's kind of sad because all of a sudden you wake up one day and it's 25 years later and you've done the same thing and you haven't really grown in 25 years wow i just got lost in the whole longest ass tangent god adam and i said we're not gonna curse and he considers ass a curse because you know we got my mom always said big ears and little places now so anyway my sister elena made me this shirt it says be too much courtesy of peter mon and i am teaching my son to be too much i have no two guys because i'm a nerd let's see how am i bb 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 it's star it's starbucks I'm telling you, it's Starbucks. I mean, I'm always bad and trip over my words, but Starbucks makes, you know this, I've told you this for years, Starbucks makes me so tongue-tied. Uh -huh. Yet she still drinks it. <clears throat> Just swallowed the wrong way. Okay, so how I'm teaching my baby to be too much. First of all, uh, I don't want to ruin the surprise, but I'll kind of give you a little hint. Adam and I say affirmations to our baby, to my belly every night. I plan to say affirmations to baby C every day from the minute that he's born. I mean, obviously we do it before he's born. Gumi made these sheets and I got them on sale and I was like deciding if I wanted them. And I just looked at them for months, right? Cause they're a little bit expensive. They're organic crib sheets and a blanket. And I think I got, I got like a three set. There was a five set, but I got the three set and they're called you are loved. And there was affirmations all over these sheets. I can't wait to show you guys. So we're doing our baby nursery and affirmations. I'm not gonna tell you any more. Oh, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. And it's funny cause I was looking for inspiration on like Pinterest and stuff. And I've never seen an affirmation nursery. I can't find one. So I'm gonna create it. And then we're gonna share it and I'm gonna get famous for it. Well, not really, but I can't wait to show you guys because, oh, it's gonna be precious, precious. This weekend, Adam and I are working on, he's doing like something funky for me on one of the, on one of the walls, if it works out as affordably as we possibly can, cause we're renting. So like, we don't wanna do anything crazy. And then he's gonna set up the crib for me this weekend and we're gonna do our baby shower online so we can, share with you guys like open all the gifts that you guys sent from the registry i've been waiting and waiting and waiting and then once that's done i'm just going to take my time throughout the weekdays like after work while adam's still at his job to set up the nursery and i cannot wait cannot 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 wait to show you and i got two months i've got less than two months to get this done so girls gotta get moving that's what i told adam today when he called and he was like are you nesting and i was like probably but our house is a disaster so you know combo and then also, when we were in New Jersey, we were driving, like we were on my dad's street. He lives all the way at the top of a hill. And at the bottom of the hill, we were just driving to go, I think to my dad's restaurant to have dinner with him. And there was a bouncy house on the front lawn. And there were like two kids playing in there. And I turned to Adam and I was like, how freaking cool is that? They have a bouncy house for no reason on their front lawn. And he's like, we're going to be those parents. Like, why do you need a reason to have a bouncy house on the front lawn if you just want to have fun and bounce in a bouncy house? 
and I'm not saying to like spoil your kids rotten and give them every silly little thing, but why not be too much? And why not let them have a bouncy house on a random Tuesday on the front lawn if that's what they want, especially during a pandemic when they're stuck at home and they're not allowed to play with their friends. And Adam's like, we're gonna be those parents. I can't believe I've been talking for 30 flipping minutes. Girl, get it together. But this is really important. The words that we use are so important. I remember this one time. Now I am the second oldest of six. So my youngest two sisters are 10 years and 13 years younger than me. So I was like mini mommy when I was preteen years. But I remember in my early 20s, my sister who I'm very, very close with, Ama, the one with the circle glasses with the gorgeous face that I want my little girls to look like, she and I were arguing. So she was probably like eight or nine and I was what? Can't do math because of cult school. Let's see, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, I was early 20s. She was not even a tween yet. And we were arguing and I was probably PMS or I was hangry or who knows what. I remember I was cooking, so I was probably hangry at that point, training for a fitness competition. I turned to her during our argument, right? And I said the whole word, but I was like, F you, Amanda. Not realizing that I'm fighting with an eight-year-old or a nine-year-old. And I literally saw her face crumble. And she goes, and she starts sobbing and she runs away. I felt my soul crumble. How do you do that to a child? How dare I? And I've apologized to her for 22 plus, plus a couple years since because that always stood with me. And Adam has a similar story about somebody who calls him a loser. And it's just, we have to be really careful because words have so, so, so much meaning behind them. And we don't know what words we use that'll stick to our children. There are people that I know, I'm trying to be careful how I say this. There are people that I know that will just like, they think they're being cute and they think they're terms of endearment, but they'll call their close, intimate, like not intimate, what's it called? Immediate family members like, hey stupid, hey idiot. Hey Gorda, you know, that not my family, I'm not Spanish, but you know, those kind of things. You're still calling a child stupid and idiot and fat and whatever. And you might think it's cute, but it's not. It's hurtful and it sticks somewhere. My grandfather used to call me lazy all the time. It's because when I would go to his house and play, I would go to his house for sleepovers sometimes. My grandparents' house, my grandfather and my grandmother. They lived on a very busy corner street on Long Island. And I wasn't allowed to play outside because it was a very busy corner street, understood. But they also didn't have kids toys in their house. So I had nothing to do except lay there and watch TV because there was nothing to do for a child in their house. And he started associating that with me being lazy. And then literally everybody in my family, like if you said Roseanne, it was synonymous with lazy. I developed this complex. So why do you think that I constantly had to prove myself that I wasn't lazy? training for fitness competitions, like putting my body through the ringer, dieting, crossfitting, doing all of that stuff just to prove that I wasn't lazy, constantly filling my calendar to the point where Adam, when he was in jail, was like, I don't understand how you keep this schedule because it was like one thing after another, after another, after another, plus fitting in visits, plus fitting in work, plus fitting in taking care of my mom when she was dying, plus fitting in working out, plus fitting in shopping for everybody, plus fitting in, you name it, I did it without a break because I never wanted to be perceived as lazy. But guess what? There's grace and there's blessing in resting as well. And there's health in resting because when you go, 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 go all the time, just to prove to yourself in the world who thought you were lazy that you're not, you're going to make yourself sick. And that's just one example of how words count. So 34 minutes into this video, let's hope I can edit it down. We need to teach our children to be too much. And I am obsessed with, and I love Peter Mon for sharing that message and sharing his positivity and sharing his over the top personality with the world because we need more sunshine like that in our lives. We need more positive role models and examples for our children in this world. And Ooh, the sun glare is real. Sorry about that, Adam called. So I took my time, well, I decided to take that time to drive home because it's Friday night and we like to spend like Friday night through Sunday as much as we can together because we're not together all week. So I'm just quickly ending this video. He's stopping the dry cleaners and then we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. Peter, 
we love you. We need more people in this world like you. You guys be too much. And if anybody has a connection to Peter, you let him know when he's in Vegas, I would love to buy him Dutch Brothers so he can review the 911 on his review channel. And also, I can tell him the story. I know he's a Mob wife fan of how I got to see Dorita visiting Lee in prison firsthand because Adam used to live with Lee and they were friends. So there's that. Bribe. Bribing you guys, make him my friend. Just kidding. All right. You guys have an excellent night. Watch your words. Be too much. Go subscribe to Peter. Although I'm sure you guys all already are. Because every time I talk about him, you're like, oh my God, I watch him too. So that's it. Sun glare on my face. Oh, and check out those fun sunnies. I love you guys so much. Little C loves you so much too. To all of his internet aunties and uncles. He can't wait to meet. Ow. Ow, he's kicking me. He knows I'm talking about him. He can't wait to meet you guys. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Here are some videos popping up on the screen. If you don't see them, just go back on the channel to watch. But click, watch, love. <laughs> click, watch, love. This is me and Starbucks. Okay, gotta go. Mwah.